rest of the series between the Mavs uh, and the Phoenix Suns in the next two games. What can Dallas do to get others involved in ways that those sh are better shots? They're more efficient shots. Luca has to become a better distributor and and work to get his teammates off also. And, and we've seen this before. You know, there there's some there's some stats with with he and Jordan in terms of comparison and scoring. He's, and, now, he's now the all-time leading playoff scorer by average okay. early in his career. Early in his career. And, and by the way, so was Jordan. Yeah. And, and, and Jordan, you know, he scored the basketball. But, you know, the, the knock on Jordan was that, you know, his teammates couldn't get involved. His teammates couldn't get involved. And then Phil Jackson came along, put him in a triangle, mm -hmm. and they started moving the ball. What well, luca has got to be able to do, particularly in this series, he's got to find a way to get off the ball, still score, be a threat, but also get his teammates involved. What Jordan would do, he would hold the basketball and then throw it to his guys, and they would shoot it, you know, at five seconds or less. And those would be tough shots because we, we're guarding them. Right. This is what's happening in, in Phoenix. Luca, hold it, hold it, hold it. And if he doesn't score, he'll kick it to somebody like a Brunson, right, who's now shooting like 32% or 38%. Right. He shoot, these guys, they're getting shots, but the type of shots that they're getting is under duress and under pressure. So these guys... Those those shooters are going two for eight, you know, two for seven, one for five, right. one for six. It's tough without a rhythm. It's tough yeah. without a rhythm. So Luca's got to get off the ball, but he's still got to be effective. The most emblematic of that Jordan transition was championship winning shots by John Paxson and Steve Kerr in the NBA Finals. And in a in a big dish to Bill Winnington in New York in the Eastern Conference Finals. Right. Right. To get past the Knicks. Uh, on the flip side, or the other end of the floor, I should say, there's a whole other issue with Doncic, and that is that the Phoenix Suns are identifying him. They're hunting him down and picking him, uh, picking on him with matchups with Chris Paul running the show. Well, what Jordan had the the he had the luxury of having probably the best defensive player in the league at that time in Scottie Pippen, mm -hmm. and then Dallas, Dennis Rodman. Yeah, and, and, but Dallas doesn't have another defender you know, that they can kind of say, hey, shut people down. And you see what's happening here. They're just hunting Luka down. I mean, and this is about as poor defense as you can possibly play. I mean, it's just one dribble and, you, and you're at the basket. And then again, weak side defense, he's, he's off. So what we done do, we done set a screen, come off, he's not up, open shot. So not only are they hunting him down on the ball, but they're hunting him down off the ball. And then you got Chris Paul isolated on him, kick back. Again, just straight line drive, no defensive stands, no defensive principle for Luka. Now, Luka's great on the offensive side, but what the playoffs will do, it will expose your weaknesses. And now when they know that he's weak, he's tired, he's worn out in the fourth, Chris Paul does his thing, takes him to the hole. I mean, so, and, and you and I talked about it earlier, Matt, you know, what Luka is expending so much energy throughout the course of the game on the offensive side. But in the last three minutes of the game, when you need defensive stops, you need defensive intensity, you know, his stamina just hasn't been there right. these last two games.